This is a Closer to the Fire prayer alert from the Voice of the Martyrs Canada. A Nigerian pastor and his son were recently killed by Islamic militants. 39-year-old Leviticus Makpow had served as a pastor and church planter in Niger State, Nigeria, which is in the middle belt of the country. Leviticus had sent a text message to an associate stating that Fulani herdsmen had surrounded his house in Mission Compound. The next day it was learned that Pastor Leviticus, along with his toddler son, Godsend, had both been tragically shot and killed. Now, fortunately, the pastor's wife and daughter were able to escape. A funeral for Leviticus and his son, Godsend, was held two days later. Now, according to another associate, Samuel Solomon, this was not the first threatening encounter against Pastor Leviticus by Fulani militants. During a previous attack, the pastor had hid in a cave until the bandits had left. Yet the incident did not deter him from continuing his ministry. Samuel said of Leviticus as he paid tribute to his friend, how many of us can do this? He knew his life was at stake, but the burden for souls would not let him run away from the mission field. And according to one human rights group, more than 1,400 Christians have been killed in Nigeria the first four months of this year. I want to take some time and pray for Pastor Leviticus, his wife and daughter, and also for the Christians of Nigeria that are constantly under threat and attack. Let's pray. Father, first of all, we just want to thank you for the life of Pastor Leviticus. Uh, This was a man that loved you and wanted to see people come into relationship with Jesus. And ultimately, he paid the price of death. We rejoice, though, that he is with you and that his legacy is strong, inspires the rest of us to be strong in our faith. And yet for his wife and daughter, uh, they are grieving. They have been traumatized by this horrible event. Father, I just pray that you would just be with them in a strong way and help ministries like the Voice of the Martyrs and others to bring hope to this lady and and all the widows of Nigeria. There's so many and so many children have been left orphans because of the brutality of groups like the Fulani herdsmen and the Boko Haram. Father, we just pray that the Christian community around Pastor Leviticus's wife and daughter would comfort them and they would meet their needs with compassion and care and that comfort that comes from the God of all comfort. We pray as well for the followers of Jesus in Nigeria as they constantly face the threats of attack and and girls being kidnapped and just the horrible things that are happening against our brothers and sisters in Christ, that you would be with them. We also pray, Lord, for the government authorities, that they would have the ability and the willingness to be able to rein in terror groups like the Fulani herdsmen and the Boko Haram. You would give them the ability to be able to do that. Father, we know that you are working powerfully in Nigeria. We see so many come to know Jesus, and yet it is just so dangerous for many of our brothers and sisters in Christ. We thank you, Father, that we can come into your presence. We thank you that you are working through us and people all over the world. And in the midst of persecution and difficulty, the kingdom of God continues to advance. Yet in any kind of war, there are casualties. And again, we think of of the wife and daughter of our brother, Pastor Leviticus. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for praying. God bless you.